morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Got to take a few things to donate to the Salvation Army. Alright, let's go find some stuff. Illuminati. I think it's metal. If it's not metal, I'll be very surprised. I can almost guarantee that it is metal. Oh yeah. And actually, now's the perfect time, while the truck is fairly empty, to have this fluffy scrap at the bottom. I'm thinking. Yeah, like that. All the way down. What do you think? Hi! <laughs> Little kids. That's awesome. There's a bunch of water in here, isn't there? Not that much. But there is. Is that a mockingbird? I'm out here having fun with birds. My avian dinosaur friends. Okay, water's coming out. I love them avian dinosaurs. You know why? Because they survived the mass extinction 66 million years ago. Yeah, they're awesome. This is where sometimes I wonder if I should be in the resale business. Porn, that's my kind of bookshelf. Just wood and bolts. But look at that dresser right there. That is, it looks really nice. Yeah, that whole thing is, looks nice. I know that Texan picker, he has a huge trailer that he has, he's dragging along with him and he, he could pick up all this stuff, no issues whatsoever. I'm going to back up a little more. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if you haven't seen the Texan Picker YouTube channel, definitely go check it out. Um, I'll link his, uh, his channel in the description. Hmm, looks like it's been out in the rain a little bit. I thought I would take a look. Yeah, see all the water in there? Yeah, this has been out for a while. It's a pile that's been out for a while. But you know what? I am going to take a little bit. Oh, man. Oh, that's plastic. I bet that's aluminum. And I bet wrong. That's a nice tote. That's a real nice one. Rubber made. That's a massive one. Huh. All that stuff has been rained on. Looks like they're throwing everything away. So you know what? This tote is going with me.
Yeah, this is bigger than the standard tote, that's for sure. Hi, I'm Paul, and I'm addicted to totes. Hi, Paul. Until it was raining, there's water inside. Nice rubber band. Why do I want it? Why? <laughs> but I want the rubber band. All right, the first test of a rubber band. What is this guy up to? What is up, my dude? Morning. What's going on, man? Nothing. No oh, passenger today? No. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes not. Yeah. Yeah, someone, I, I drove my Monte Carlo finally the other day. And really? And someone's like, what's the G-Man stand for on the license ah. plate? I'm like, it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> but you, dude, you've been a G-Man for how many years now? Oh, it's been quite a while. 20 it's probably about five. 25. So, well, oh yeah, me probably just yeah, yeah. the G man. Yeah, yeah. You're the one that made me. The G -Man. No, you no, you just didn't know you were the G man. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't know it, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But officially, yeah, no, uh, 23 years this year. 23 years. 22. Okay. 22. Cool. You guys know I'm not really a furniture person, but I see something like this on the curb. I don't know what to do. I mean, it's amazing. It still has stuff in it. Wow. Ink cartridges. Huh. Post-it notes. All right, I'm grabbing them. Cause I'm a, I'm a pen dude. Wow, so this person was probably getting their, taking their bar exam. You know what, I might look that up. Oh, 2011, never mind. All right, I'm gonna take that and this. I if my daughter were like that. I'll bet she would, all right. Hey, chill. So this whole thing rolls out? Seriously. <laughs> and this goes up on here. Whoa. Man. <laughs> yeah, and the garbage man's on the next street over. I just saw him. Well, that was the recycle or the yard waste guy that I was talking with. Um, but the actual garbage man is right around the corner. Hmm. Morning, Ralph. Morning, Sam. Man, I'm so tore up about that that desk. <sighs> All right, fine. I'm gonna go get the desk. I'm gonna completely wreck my scrap day, but I'm gonna go get that desk. So the heat is on, because I just had a guy flagging me down. He says, hey, I got some scrap for you. I'm like, I'll be right back. Because I know the garbage man's right around the corner. So, um, yeah, let's get this desk. Yeah, believe me, I almost didn't. All right, Sir Descalot, get in my truck. Watch your head.
it's gonna be nice at my house. It's gonna go in the front. It's huh. Let's snap tools up there. A that's what I'm talking about. Snap tool 2021. Now let's see if that guy is still there that was flagging me down. Maybe not. I think it was one of these houses. I'm also tying it up right here because I know his garage door was open. He might see me out here. And give me scrap. <laughs> I just want to kind of put this away a little bit. I think it's a furniture day. Look at that. Got a desk. I like it too. Hey, I got you a friend. Um, wait, how's this gonna work? Not, not very well. Arm doesn't quite work like this. Okay, <laughs> tied up a little bit. A little bit of metal. Definitely. Hmm. I'm glad that I got this desk because this is the last neighborhood in my route. And so it was a light scrap day. So yeah. Definitely happy about that. Just throw it on the ground and run. No, that's not what we do. Don't rain. Stay up there. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. This one is odd shaped. <laughs> Alright, we'll take a little peek. Just a little. <laughs> it's like kitchen garbage. Hey, it's the theme of the day, furniture day. A gun vice? Huh? I don't know what kind of mat this is. Is it a mat? Or is this a, a floor of some sort? And this is to keep it from sliding around. Probably. So 
almost incomplete. Huh. Yeah, it is. Just put your rifle there and do whatever. Work on it. I don't need one, but... <laughs> Insulated copper wire, getting full. Start the aluminum hoard. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it or keep it. So, uh, till I make that decision, I'm going to put it in my shop it's, instead of at my house. Something like this. Yeah. And I could have my editing computer, or my keyboard, or whatever. Yeah. I'm liking it. So if I do sell it, how much should I sell it for? 40 bucks, 60 bucks, 80 bucks? I don't know. I mean, it's not wrecked. It really isn't. remember uh, a few videos back I broke my dumpster stick yep so I got another it's just a paint roller this one's like as heavy duty as they get <sighs> can I just break it this way I just don't feel like bashing it and getting splinters in my neck or something Getting closer. <laughs> Take a sledgehammer to it, Paul. You're a scrapper. That's what you do. Uh, no. <laughs> Alright, that's not working. Just keep mashing it, huh? I'm actually uh, blinking my eyes. It's a little plastic to come out. Huh. Maybe now I can bash it with a hammer. That's what I wanted. Well, mostly. How does this piece come off? You know what? I can grind it off. Oh, pardon the fan. I think Mike the Scavenger has a, a point on his so he can like jab boxes and stuff to pull them out of the dumpster. of a point yeah I don't want it too sharp on that end but I definitely want it to be able to grab if need be 
All right, go, go, gadget. Boink. And these are what, 12 foot ceilings? Yeah. Hmm. Should I make a little, little bend right there? Yeah, I think so. Let's do that. Get rid of the garbage. as an anvil. Yeah. yeah, like that. I think that's enough. Yeah, that is a good dumpster hook. Cause it'll still be able to hook and things won't slip off of it. Yeah. So I'll roll over the executive chair, see how this works. Oh, oh. yeah. This is all right. So I think I need to clean this up. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe it down. Uh, yeah, can I use Fantastic on wood? Um, multi-purpose cleaner. Hmm, how about just water and paper towels? Yeah, let's do that. Use some cold drinking water. <laughs> it's probably gonna be too wet. Probably use some uh, ooh, old English or some type of a polish. Probably just even pledge would work. Ooh, that's not very clean, is it? <laughs> My neighbor, he does car detailing Let's see I always hear vacuums and stuff going you usually got the tunes running but I don't hear any tunes right now so I can record and not get a copyright strike yeah. oh, that's kind of cool let's start with a new rag this already is yeah I think this is gonna be mine I don't know maybe not I got this from uh, an ancient furniture store here in the Gao called The Curb. <laughs> Who would throw this away? That's real wood, too. Dude, I think you you just named my, my video. Who would throw this away? That's that's sharp, man. Look, Check this out. Man. Is now, I got right? jealous. Your wife had the most amazing post yesterday with all the furniture that she got. Oh yeah, man, that was heavy. Oh, you moved it? I moved it. What? Dude, you were in the hospital a month ago. What are you doing moving two furniture? Has it be been two months? It's already been two months since it happened, yeah. Okay. Eight weeks. All right. Eight weeks pro stroke, and I'm moving furniture. Well, I think God healed you. God did heal me, but not all the way yet. Not all the way, okay. <laughs> not all the way yet. I don't That's know what's nice, up with this. Man. Should I glue this back on, or should I rip it off? Uh, let me see here. Is it real wood underneath it? No, it's pressed wood. Is Let's it? glue it back on. All right. I got some glue somewhere around here. 
That date's probably probably in the late eighties, early nineties. Okay. Probably. I think forty bucks on marketplace? Eighty bucks on marketplace. Eighty? Yep. Alright. I'm thinking about keeping it because right now I have a <laughs> I use a dinette set table as my uh, editing table. This would be great for your editing table. Computer. Here. Put your uh, put your things in here. What's this thing? Fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> really, Paul? Yeah. Put, uh, put your the top of Rooney thing in. No, here. the the keyboard would go in here as this pulls out. Oh, that pulls out. Oh, it yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So pull it out. I could have my my monitor here yeah. or here yeah. or wherever. Yeah, I'm thinking about it's it, bro. Got the, it's got the hole for the um, all the all the wires and stuff to go back through the back. Yeah. How'd you got get my... this in your truck, buddy? Um, I had some angels help me. You had some angels help you. <laughs> Even though it's a gloomy day, and I got about three ounces of scrap metal, <laughs> it was an amazing day. I, I had fun today. It was just fun getting that uh, desk and seeing Shane. Yeah, he's a good dude. So God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. Lord, let us continue to build a relationship with you. It's about you, God. And thank you for the Holy Spirit that you're not just promising us heaven, God, that you've given us a deposit, a down payment, the Holy Spirit in us to show that you mean business, God. Thank you for that. In the name of Jesus, amen. From the age of 10 to 15, <laughs> that's all I did was lawnmower engine and go-kart type stuff like that. You know what? We're going to follow him a little bit just because it looks fun. <laughs> ah. You know what? I changed my mind. Let's go do a little bit more scrap. Yeah, even though I just have a little bit of scrap in the back of the truck, um, I needed to go do my commercial uh, pickup. Ooh, something just tumbled back there. I need to go do my commercial um, pickup that I don't film at. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's go do that real quick. So I didn't get a bunch of stuff. I just got a handful of rotors and uh, or uh, discos <laughs> uh, and various undercarriage stuff but seeing as how i'm in the area i thought i would take a look at a dumpster somebody know what dumpster this is too let's take a quick look wait a minute this is a cardboard dumpster wait are they both cardboard dumpsters no hello Well, this one doesn't say cardboard. That one does. Recyclable items only. I don't get it. Yay, I can pull right up. Oh, look at this room. I don't know what to do with all this. It's crazy. People have seen some of my older videos where like all of this was like gone. I would just drive up in there, dump the scrap. <laughs> oh, am I gonna hit something? <laughs> Man, I'm getting texts and beeps. All kinds of craziness. It's so quiet. Did I miss the second coming of Jesus? Where's all the humans? Wait a minute. Is it a free copper sale? Copper! Is 
There's a look at all that. That's crazy. That's nuts. It's not a free copper day. It's a sell my rotors day. Ow. Twenty-eight pounds for two. So each one of these is over ten pounds. Wait, they want them like this. Yeah. Fifty-six pounds for four. Eighty-four pounds. Eighty-five pounds. Eighty-four. Really? There's no wind in here? Why are you changing? Really? Eighty-five? Mm -mm. Alright, let's go way on the big scale and sell this stuff, but not my new sharpened dumpster. You see? It's not super sharp, but it's kind of sharp. It will work. Those brake drums for a big rig. Man, I won't be able to see. I see. I can't see anything. All right, I already got the green light. I'll have to trust them. You know what, let's just back straight up to the pile. What do you think about that? Just punch it. Stop when you hear the bang. Um, yeah, let's go right here. That looks good. Get rid of the stuff. Be free. Oh, or, or not. Can I do this without having to climb up into the truck? Probably not. It's been a fun day. I don't know about you, but I'm having a good day. I saw this science show and they said, fun is only two things, serotonin and dopamine. <laughs> that cracked me up. But it's true, those are the neurotransmitters that make us smile. Backed up into that. Yeah, that thing is is magnetic. Same with this. There is nothing. Let's see, uh, boink. There's nothing aluminum about that. It's starting to sprinkle. Oh.
think we're good. I'm up a little higher. Yeah, that used to be the area they would drive in to drop off the scrap. And there was like three different sections. Uh, you can see still some of the concrete pillars. But from here, you can kind of see that it's like a mountain range of scrap. Is it three-dimensional if I walk like this? <laughs> you can see just, I mean, that very back one, how tall that is. It's almost as tall as that, what is that, an oak tree back there? Yeah, that's a lot of scrap metal. Needs to get ground up, mechanically separated, like my chicken nuggets, and then turned into new products. Don't need these anymore. I'm gonna pull up all backwards. Still can't see the scale. What's up, Michael? Let's see how close I can get to this trailer. Whoa, too close. <laughs> so it was what, 85 pounds, is that right? Of rotors? Discos? Hey, I also put um, 85 pounds of rotors on the scale over there. 85 pounds of rotors. Yeah, discos. Oh, discos. Yep. There's like no one there. I'm like, is it picnic day or something? They went on lunch right now. I think they quit. Right? They're all going to Zimmerman's. Yeah, they'll be all right. <laughs> they'll be all right. <laughs> you are ready. How was your weekend? Uh, super fast. What did you do? Anything, anything interesting? Um, nope. Literally nothing. Nothing special. Nope. Isn't that weird? It's like I just... I do nothing for long stretches of time. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How was your weekend? It was good. I feel like it was productive. Did you hang out with your brothers and sisters? Yeah, we didn't order out food, which is a really big triumphant moment for me. Awesome. You guys didn't? <laughs> I didn't. Okay, good. I'll let you go. Man. All right, man. All right, I'll see you. All right, let's see what's going on here. 34 bucks. Not bad for a light day. So, I had 140 pounds of shred iron, 85 pounds of of a cast yeah of auto cast yeah so those rotors were 13 bucks the regular scrap was 21 dollars 34 dollars and 81 cents thank you god again for pocket money thank you god for the big picture of life thank you for it lord and thank you for everlasting life in you in the name of jesus amen